Hey there everybody, so in today's video we have, um, we're gonna have a look at the fuse boxes on this um, Lexus CT200H and um, looking at the manual here um, we can see that there's uh, two fuse box boxes, engine compartment and left side instrument panel that's uh, for left hand drive vehicles um, but this is a right hand drive vehicle and you will find this box on, uh, on, on the passenger side um, which is the same side if, if you have the left hand drive vehicle um, now um, if we look at the engine compartment one um, what we need to do is basically just get the bonnet open and we're gonna find this fuse box here we can see the layout here number one two three four five and so on we have a list of the fuses here and what they do and what amperage they are that continues here and here And after that, we're going to look at the one that's um, under the glove box. So if we go to the car itself, um, get the bonnet open, and we come to the right-hand side here, we have this box here, which we can open. Press the clip in there. Uh, just press on this clip here. Um, behind that cover, we also have a list of the fuses, and uh, some of them it, it kind of says what they might be for. So that's where the fuses are. Now, um, if we look at the layout here. This layout will correspond to this layout on the vehicle. So not not in this position, but, but uh, in this position. Now, if we um, have a look here, for example. Okay, so if you look at this layout here. Um, If you pick, if we pick a particular fuse here, uh, say we pick number 10, fuse number 10 there will be a 30 amp fuse and if we search for fuse number 10 here it will, it will be this one here. You can then verify that by um, Can then just verify that by, um, by looking at the fuses that are sitting next to that one so so technically fuse number 11 which is next to number 10 according to this is a 30 amp fuse so if we look at fuse number 11 we can see that is a 30 amp fuse 
and then we have number 12 10 amp 13 30 amp so number 12 is a red one is a 10 amp 13 is a 30 amp and so on um, you can also see here that fuses number two three and four two three and four are 50 30 and 30 and that corresponds to these ones here 50 30 and 30 um, fuse number one here it's uh, 125 amps uh, and that is for the inverter and converter but that that is referring to this wire this thick cable here which goes to uh, probably a box because that is a, a fairly large fuse that is not something that we would uh, get involved with um, so um, so anyway now we can uh, now we can look at the fuses under the glove box and again this is what we have here this is how they are numbered so number one starts with that little corner cut is if you can remember that then we know number one is that one at the top and that's what pretty much these fuses do so more fuses will be in use um, it just depends on what features your car may cover Okay, um, we'll have a look at that fuse box now. Right, so uh, I have the glove box here, and this is a right hand vehicle. So the left hand drive vehicle will also have the fuse box here. Um, now, we need to remove this cover here and to remove that cover there's a little bit a little um, clip inside of here that we can just flick right okay so this cover um, it's got a clip there that center one the one you just press in and there's another one there they just uh, basically they just push into the frame here and and they pull out as well um, it, sometimes you may have to use the screwdriver just to wedge it against the the cover and and this part here and and pull it out uh, but once uh, you got it out it's not really that hard you will find that little cover with some fuses up there So we can remove this cover here. If you just pull it, that will come out. And then 
that's where the fuses are. Now, um, this cover is come out like this. So, um, and that's where the little corner is, the, where the little cut, which means which means fuse number one will be the red one on the edge there. That will be fuse number one, and so on, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. Um, so I'm just going to fit this cover back in there. And as we can see, the little corner that's been cut is on that side there and that fuse is number one and so on you can uh, just verify that by, by looking at um, the fuse amperage inside and compare it to what's on the manual That's basically it. Um, we can then refit the cover and that's it. So I hope this video helps you find uh, the fuses on your CT200. Um, thanks for watching.